Welcome back. This week we're in Cardiff with a budget of £96,000. We're house hunting for a couple who are soon to be married. Yesterday, was it love at first sight for Old Church Road? I think property number one is the most appealing. There's nothing need doing. Property two was at the other end of the scale, but could have been a good investment. Lots and lots of work to be done in a very short space of time. Bit, yeah. bit frightening. My yeah. optimism's faded a little bit. <laughs> so, was the third the perfect compromise? Might be a little bit too quiet. We mm -hmm. might be feeling on best behaviour all the time. We're kicking off today in one of Stephen Helen's favourite areas. But, as ever, what one wants and what one can afford aren't necessarily the same. Dina's Palace is just six miles from the city centre. It feels quite rural, but that makes prices high and property scarce. We've just found this Victorian end terrace. Three bedrooms, a large garden, all for £92,500. On arrival, there is one feature that might test Steve's enthusiasm. Kirsty and I haven't seen this house either, but reading the property details, we thought it seemed like a good choice for smart living in an area they like and within their budget. Ooh, oh. it's quite nice. Yeah. Lovely kitchen. Lovely kitchen. I really like the kitchen. Yeah. So it's lovely having the two joined together. Yeah. yeah. That's something that we really like the idea of. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is a nice light room. The flooring's nice as well. Look at that there. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I mean, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I, I don't know, I like it. I, I like this space. You've got a nice bit of land. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Despite the frequent trains, on first impressions, the house is a strong contender. Oh, my God. That's not good news. There's diagonal cracks through the brickwork. And that could be one of the causes. A qualified structural engineer would be able to tell us if this was a problem, but that's going to take time. It can be fixed. Right. Absolutely can be fixed. What would that cost? It should be covered by their insurance. Sure. So it's an insurance problem. Right. Because we want to move within eight weeks, sadly, it's got to be the end of the line for this house. We're back in the seaside town of Penarth for our last house. A view of the bay is blocked by some unattractive flats, but that makes this row of terraces affordable. Our seaside house is on Penarth's High Street. All of the rooms are bright and airy. The price? £95,000. Oh! <laughs> wow, yeah. yellow. Very yellow. <laughs> yeah. Yellow Very and blue. Very beachy. Very yellow. <laughs> Summery. Helen. Oh! Welcome to Kermit's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a bit bright for me. Bathrooms sell properties. People love up-to-date oh, bathrooms. Yeah. It jumps out at you, doesn't it? It's, uh... It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's got a nice feel to it. I don't know you're going to say that, Steve. How about the view? Yeah, it is a fantastic view, actually. Very nice. Very nice. There's loads that I would want to do to it to make it how I like it. I really like the feel of the place. It seems small in, when compared with the rest of the house. It's nice you've got the it's window, stubby. so I mean, yeah. I don't mind I don't it. Know. I don't I don't, mind I, don't, it. I don't. I don't like it. No. No. Helen has kept her mind open through the weekend, yet Steve has his heart set on the first house. Secretly, I think this is Helen's favourite. Can she persuade Steve to come back for a second look? Mm. Right. Is this the one? It's one of two for me. Yeah, it's all of a sudden made it onto the short list. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll be back here to Helen's favourite and visit Steve's favourite, the open plan house in Whitchurch Village. This was the tranquility of the first house we viewed at 8.45 on a Saturday morning. Back in Old Church Road at 8.45 on a Monday morning, and this is why it's always good to see a house twice. Back again, it's rush hour on Monday. The yes. road's a lot busier. It's it quite a contrast, it's quite surprising. Uh, we're, we're used to actually a traffic jam outside our house at the okay. moment as opposed to traffic filtering through. Yeah. Trust Steve to put a positive spin on things. 
Does it still have that feeling that you had when you walked into it the first time? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, I think we should buy this house <laughs> because this is the one. Hang on, Steve. You've decided, but I'm not sure Helen has. Uh, this would be so useful to store stuff, wouldn't it? That Let's appeals more than don't, you know, having the car parked on the street. And... I'm not worried about that so much anymore. But let's... Uh, about the parking? Mm, it's the house, isn't it? So yeah. let's just think it's about... It's the house. That. No, it's, it's all the house. about yeah, the, it's house. About the house. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't like it when this happens. Steve thinks he's bought the house. He walked in, face lit up, yeah, that'll do. It's £96,000 we're talking about here. I'm here to protect him from his emotions because he's got to make a balanced decision. They've both got to come to an agreement today. The point of the second viewing is to come back and closely analyse things. Mm. There were things that you were concerned about, things sure. that you were concerned about. Yeah. The emotional reaction happened yesterday. Today is not for emotions. Oh, Today you is for. always say that. It's a huge decision and it's not so one to take about... on an emotional turn. Yes, but it's you... to come back and analyse things and make a balanced decision. If you've got a bad investment, quite obviously, you have to walk away, however much you love the house. But an OK investment versus a better investment, if the OK is the one that captures you heart and soul, then you have to go with it. The council planning office have confirmed both extension and shed have planning permission. Helen's main problem is that the garden is too small. Kirsty's hatching a solution with Steve. God, interestingly, that's more than the length of the tape measure, which means it's 10 foot. Our solution? Demolish the shed. That means that you would have a garden which was nearly 30 foot. That's a pretty good sized garden. If we were looking to resell the house, yeah. is it an advantage to have the shed or is it more of an advantage to have the, the, the garden? I think people would be looking for a better garden. The best way of finding out what your prospective new home is worth is jump on the phone and find out if any of the neighbouring properties have been sold. Two Doors Up is under offer. I simply rang the estate agent who told me it wasn't as smart as ours and didn't have as much room. So, at the risk of being a bit cheeky... Hi, do you mind me asking how much you sold your house for? Um, I can't remember now. Oh yeah, 78 and all. 78,500. OK, thanks very much. Armed with information like that, our house looks expensive. But it's good news because we can use it as a tool to negotiate that price. This is light. Yeah. We haven't seen a house with a room this light. No. Have we? We probably have. We, no, we haven't seen a house with a room this light. Yeah, we have. Of course we have. Where? Well, the one in Penarth. I have a very warm feeling inside. I feel at home here. Mm. I do. You can very visit me com in Penarth. Then. Very <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> and so we drag a reluctant Steve to Penarth again. We've discovered the flats that obscure a fabulous view are due to be demolished, but there's no definite date. So, although a better view would definitely add value, it's best to act as if they're staying where they are. We'll be outside if you need us. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank yeah. you. This is a bigger house in arguably a better area. Steve's future wife seems to like it. Will all this change his mind? What do you think? It's still nice? Um. No. And I'm still not getting anything out of this kitchen. Yeah. Of course, emotions come into property purchase, but it's more than that. You can't well, just rely on... I know a it's a home, but it has to work. Yeah, and this does work, mm. but not in the right way. We don't know yet. We're second-guessing, and it's wrong to do that. Yeah, it's fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> this place did something for me yesterday, mm. but it's not doing it today. Now that we've been back to the first place, yeah. no. It's not working no. today. Do you recognise this? <laughs> Yeah, nasty carpet like we've got home. Exactly the same carpet. It's a bad sign. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Logic sometimes goes out of the window when you just know a house isn't for you. But that's why seeing a house twice is essential. Penarth and Old Church Road were neck and neck last night. Yeah. And we really had to do some serious thinking. Faced with the option of the two, I think Old Church Road is right for us. We need to protect Steve and Helen from paying over the odds just because they love the house. 
95,950 seems steep to us. £92,000 would be fair, but tactically we're starting at 87,500. And you wouldn't be running the risk of insulting anybody? No, I don't think so. 85, perhaps that would be insulting. Right. But 88, 87, no. Okay, Excellent. Good. Let's yeah, go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, we shouldn't insult them first. <laughs> <laughs> Often vendors accept lower offers if buyers are chain free, can prove they've got a mortgage ready, and will exchange contracts quickly. The offer 87,500. Okay, thanks, Karen. There was a deep sigh from her when I put the offer forward. Oh! That's that could be yeah, her. That's her. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Get Karen, hi. The offer is turned down, but we expected yes. that. Stephen and Helen tell us to try at £90,000. We feel confident and leave the vendors to sleep on it. Best of luck. Yeah. Thanks very much and, indeed. And I'll yeah. give you a ring in the morning. Hopefully yeah, you'll hear from Karen. Yes. Yes. Good Thanks for that. Safe right. journey. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Yeah. Our second offer was rejected, but with now only six weeks to go before the wedding, these guys weren't giving up. The vendor came back with his offer, which we then ex we accepted. Um, we were really pleased with our right, here we go. And then next thing you know, he pulled his property off the market, pulled the rug from under our feet, and um, we couldn't buy the house. So, um, really, really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, very really disappointed. disappointed. We're going to have a good time, we're going to get married, yeah. go away, come back. Start Back with a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly what we want and we know we've got a really good idea of what's out there.